21 at Berklee College of Music is when I came to know the Lord. And it was through a radical uh, classmate who just shared her, shared what happened to her in the, the gospel with me for the first time in such a real way. I had never heard that we could be forgiven, that Jesus Christ came to die for us. I mean, that was so foreign to me. the album Above the Noise, that phrase comes from a song called For You. It's a simple prayer worship song basically saying, God, above anything else, I'm going to live for you, I'm going to sing for you. I think it's so easy to get caught up with our daily lives and truly the, the cry, I guess, of my heart and of this record is to lift God up above all that noise in our life, the joys, the, the low times of life, to make sure that Jesus is the person that we're lifting up above anything else. As a worship leader and a worship artist, Really, I find my life, I don't want it just to be about songs or performing, but truly about trying to lead people into worship. And I don't know about you, but I think sometimes we equate worship with Sunday morning, lifting our hands, clapping, singing. And the scripture that challenges me is the one that says, he's looking for those worshipers who will worship him in spirit and in truth. get the opportunity to travel with a great group, Point of Grace. Well, you know, Jamie is great on the road. She's an awesome person to travel with. They really want to talk about issues that young women face on a day-to-day -day basis. Obviously, she's a great worship leader, and that's kind of what she's known for. And when she first came and did worship for Girls of Grace, to say she brought it to another level would be an understatement. I mean, she took it up like 10 notches. I want to stay true to seeing young people know who they are in Christ. Just the, the real ministry, I think, that takes place in a live setting. That's what I'm trying to stay focused on. I think it's her greatest heart's desire just to see those young girls with their hearts turned toward God. Hi, I'm Susie Schellenberger, editor of Brio Magazine with Focus on the Family. Jamie has led worship for our Brio mother-daughter cruise. She's really gifted at leading her audience right into the throne room of God. She's a master at ministry in action. I'm real excited about um, these Modest is Hottest teen girl seminars. We do a lot of worship and then we do a concert. We have fun, fun things. We do fashion shows of what is something cute and trendy but modest and it's really a time for teens to get together and, and be real. You know, at first I was all nervous, like, God, why would you want me to come and speak to teenage girls or lead in worship? I, you know, you know my past, you know all my mistakes, but I think it's in our weakness that God uses us the best. I love being able to look a young girl in the face uh, or hold her or hug her and say, I've been there and I know that there's forgiveness for you and that there's a new start and that this will not always be an issue in your life. Although I've made some mistakes, God's best is, is the road I want to see them take. Each year that goes by, I think um, our trust in Christ grows and our trust in the plans that He has for us being truly the right plans and the best. I think we grow in that. So